All right, joining us now is a former safety inspector at the FAA and now our CNN safety analyst, David Susi. So David, first, how serious are these new whistleblower accusations of allegedly using parts from the scrap heap to build the planes that we're all flying on? Uh, I'll tell you, these allegations are extremely serious. Uh, what I'm concerned about is some of the terminology that's used with, when we talk about a scrap heap and, and where these parts are going. There's a critical process, and that's called serviceable or not. If the part is not serviceable, it needs to be segregated. Now, there is a form 8130 that you can use to recertify a part when it's in non-serviceable condition. So I don't know enough about what's happening here. I'm not aware that the service or that the whistleblower has provided a list of these parts or where they went, where they came from, or even how he knows the transport of it. I, I assume that in his position with Boeing, he would have known that. So I'm not discounting his claims. I'm just, I'd like to have more information about this scrap heap because I'm not aware of Boeing having a scrap heap for parts. So, so based on this whistleblower um, allegation, these whistleblower allegations, though, um, he, Boeing was using these parts for these airplanes. Um, how critical could the one individual part be, right? I mean, try to help us understand the significance of this. If a, if a part from a scrap heap, no. as he says, does make its way on an airplane, one part. Well, it depends on what part. Again, uh, he said that some of these are safety critical parts. That's all, that's as vague as it was. It would have to be much more detailed to say that. So I, I really can't comment on it. If It depends on any part. If any part is bad or non-serviceable and fails because of that, then it could cause an aircraft crash or who knows what, but I'm not going there right now because I don't know what parts they are. So That's I don't fair. really want to leap into that. You don't want to speculate, and I get yeah. that completely without more information yeah. to help inform your opinion. Sure. So the, criti the critical issue Boeing is facing this weekend is, will it take the government's deal to plead guilty to criminal fraud? This is, of course, in connection with the MAX crashes in 2018 and 2019 that killed 346 people. Um, do you think it will take the deal or, or take the chances and go to trial? Well, I think we need to clarify something real cl quickly. Sure. Boeing already admitted to fraud. They already right. said that there was fraud that went on with two pilots that had hidden information about the MCAS system prior to the two tragic uh, accidents that occurred. So Boeing already admitted to that. What they're facing now is they had an agreement, a deferred prosecution agreement, in which they were supposed to come up with processes that would prevent any additional uh, breaking of the uh, anti-fraud laws. And to my knowledge, I don't think they should take the deal because to my knowledge right now, I see that they did put those things in place just as was asked in this kind of vague agreement that they had. They did put those things into place and we haven't seen actual fraud a after that. We've seen mistakes. We've seen the door plug that came out. We've seen the things that happened. But have they actually hidden information intentionally with the intent of doing something else? That's the definition of fraud. And I'm not sure they've done that, so I think they may be in a good position to defend themselves here. So I'm not sure if I was Boeing, I would take this deal. All right, David Susi, thanks so much, and we'll be right back.